Hello and welcome to ISCSI tutorial. In this tutorial we will see how to intercept an ISCSI packet using Wireshark. And we will understand the flow of ISCSI mechanism. To begin with we will start with the login process of the ISCSI. So after establishing a TCP connection between an initiator and a target, the initiator must start a login phase to gain further access to target source. Before going to the packet, the first step, what I will do, I will filter only the ISCSI packet. So I will type ISCSI and click apply. Okay. In front of me, I have only the IS, ISCSI protocol, which I am interested in. And we will analyze each packet one by one so you can see there is a multiple login command login response login command login response login command login response text command text response login command login response okay so there are two type of login session here like uh, first one is normal session and the second one is discovery okay so just see what is the normal session so in normal session oh, before moving to normal session the first thing what you will do decode this as if you're not decoded decode this as a icc so that entire packet is understand by you okay so we will see what is the normal process okay of logging so I applied a filter I say key value session type normal okay so in this login uh, normal process we have two things we have initiator name and we have target name the initiator is the host itself and target what we are targeting for okay and let's see what is the discovery in discovery we have only the initiator name session type in discovery and there is no target name here okay so it will try to discover it will try to get the target based on the discovery okay so there are two login process one is called normal and second one is called discovery okay. so the login process will go through the will go through the exchange of icsi operational parameter as well as the security authentication process okay uh, which are intent to ensure that the initiator is valid and authorized when this uh, authorization is come the connection and session will flow as SCSI command and data between the initiator and the target okay so SCSI command and data will only flow when the login is completed and session is established okay so as I talked about something about auth so let's see what is what i am trying to mean is so let's see some of the login command what i am looking for edit find packet string packet detail look for crc okay so you can see crc c32c it's a cyclic redundancy code uh, it's also known as slicing by four algorithm developed by the intel so this is the odd parameters as par part of the login sessions and login response session so login command and login response having the header digest of crc and other key value attributes 
so once the login is completed now the process of now the next packet is uh, which having op code of 00, zero. So it's it uh, this mean it's kind of ping mechanism okay so this 00, zero is nothing but a ping mechanism to verify that connection or session is still active and all its components are operational uh, this ping can be triggered by the initiator or the target whoever, whoever is triggered it wants a reply by setting a value different from the default fffff okay this value so next is 020 so this is the also no op and no op in is same as both are the ping mechanism to verify that this connection is uh, proper and active and uh, it will also trigger this value transfer track fff so the next packet is with uh, op code 01 so this is uh, nothing but the scsi command so this request carries the scsi cdb and other scsi execute command procedure call so if we see the is what are the procedure calls are there we can see it here these are the various opt code bit defined okay so what is the next opt code next opt code is 25 so this is a uh, data in okay this opt code is data in and this is the main main vehicle which uh, SCSI data payload is carried between the initiator and the target so this is the payload which we are carrying okay this is the payload actual payload okay with opcode 25 so this payload is associated with the specific SCSI command through the initiator tag initiator task tag so we will see what is next so next op code is 001 is uh, same as a uh, SCSI CDB and all other SCSI execute command procedure call again the data in op code 25 just now we explain what is op code 25 01 we explained 25 21 so 21 is response okay so this is a response of code 21 so this response carries all the xcsi execute command procedure call out argument so whatever command we have sent in scsi command along with this it always it will say the status whether is a come good or bad and the return value okay ready to transfer this is another op code we have seen here 31 okay so this is the mechanism by which the scsi target request the initiator for the output data request for transfer also specify this is data out the payload So this is a very high level of uh, SCSI, IS, ISCSI Wireshark demo. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thanks for watching it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any question, do let me know. I will try to answer over the comment. Thank you.